Hey, thanks for stopping by the channel. This clip comes from a stream I did this morning. Uh, it is the sixth day of 2021, so January 6th, and was playing the ladder, found, encountered a new shaman. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of evolve, but this was somewhat different. Um, was having a pretty competitive battle until the very end when uh, RN Jesus showed up, uh, reared his head. Another worthy opponent. All right, Thrall is a shaman. I want to say he's going for the name Cheesy Burger, but it ends up being Chessy Burger. So, I don't know. Whatever. To each their own. To each their own. I do want to hold on to the Rascal for the Shaman because... I've been encountering Evolve Shaman after Evolve Shaman after Evolve Shaman. And one of the ways, aside from keeping their board clear, that I think I've been able to help hold, fend them off, is trying to reduce their mana, particularly when they're locking themselves out of mana. Um, it may have just been a fluke one game, but the fellow had, you know, spent all his mana, I was able to clear the board, and he couldn't do anything the next turn. Hey, this is starting out exactly like the other shaman battle. He's got his evolve weapon now. Let's hope he concedes as well. A little agony yeah. goes a long way. I do like the uh, animated character here. The rain coming down, the uh, light coming through the hammer. Interesting choice. Ooh, ooh. I like tapping for free even more than I like controlling his mana. So we're gonna get our second Dark Glare out. A little agony we're going to take out the totem, yeah. take out that. So now we know there's a Spirit Jailer in our graveyard, in case we want to raise the dead. Okay, not too shabby. I can not only bring down his mana one, so hopefully all he can do is play a totem, but get a spirit up. Ah, and I'm tapping for free. Don't forget to tap, Matt. That. So now I'm like, forget controlling his mana. I can get a 5 5 out, even though the rush doesn't really take effect. I get the card draw as well. So, I have a 5 5 on turn 4. I am a happy camper. See the See the end. We can save that for uh, soon. Trademark soon. Grand Totem Elder. At the end of your turn, get 1-1 one, one to all other totems in your hand deck battlefield. Wow. All right. Let's see how we counter that. So plus two health to your totems. Six, six. So they're going to be one sixes. Give plus two attack to your totems. So they're going to be... Oh, and they each do that. So, well, they should have been... Give one, one. Oh, it doesn't do it to your own, to, to the totem itself. So, okay. I thought they were going to double buff. 3-7. We can buff this to a 6-6. Six, six. That doesn't really end up helping much, unfortunately. All right. So if I tap, I'll have four mana thanks to that. I can get... Even lockout. There's two of it. This guy will be free. Hmm. And I'll have two to play with, which may be a buff. Depending on what we draw. That's that's how we're gonna go. Alright, time's running out. Oh, there we go, rush. I like that. There is so much untapped power in this world. Such a 
All right. So I don't know if this is an evolve shaman. Um, I don't I haven't seen. I don't recall seeing that. And so it may be, or it may be that there's some sort of a totem shaman that. Uh, what is that? Brush. Whenever this attacks a minion, silence. Interesting. What you got? Evil totem. At the end of your turn, add a lackey to your hand. That is evil. So my flesh giants are playable now, which is great. So let's get some 8-8s eight out and see if that swings things at all. Hopefully his reaction is, oh my god, I have to ram everything into it and kill it. Um, my first instinct is to try and take things off his board versus go to the face, but I... Yeah, this has got to be like a totem shaman. There's so much going on, totem-wise. Yeah, he's going to face, okay. What the hell? Yeah, we're going to random spells, all right. So, okay, I could go one that'll come down to five, get a taunt up, get another flesh giant out. I think out of all of these, the one to take out is actually this guy. Um, that's assuming that's what we want to do. Alright, so this adds a lackey. If it's an Evolve Shaman, which I don't think it is anymore, that'd be dangerous. Cost the random spells, I'm not sure that's helping him. Um, it just depends on the spell, the randomness of it. I think I'm going to go face, actually. He'll take that out, and he could try and go face, but I'm showing enough danger on the board that I think he's going to want to try and clear my board. Oh, Jesus. Thank God they're asleep right now. But I imagine... I'm showing 11 if he takes out only one flesh giant. Whoa. What are your random spells that get cast? Let's not have it kill any of my critters. And let's leave your health at 12. Ooh, what is that secret? What is that secret? Alright, moment of truth. Well fucking played, you son of a... Chessy Burger. There were any secret for you to randomly get from the RNG gods. Eye for an eye. All right. All right. That close. That close. So that's cool. I I like the um, we just saw a new style of uh, shaman for the first time. Um, I would love to have to keep guessing when I see a shaman and say, "Oh my God, is that an evolved shaman or is that a totem shaman?" Um, cause right now, it's just been evolve after evolve after evolve after evolve. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I live stream over at Twitch at Matt Albertson and post highlights and other random videos on my YouTube channel, Matthew Albertson. I hope you'll like, subscribe, hit the bell, you know, all the things. And if you'd like to get in touch with me, just head on over to mattalbertson.com and reach out. Until next time, thanks.